Okay, today what's on our shelf is this ET Extraterrestrial now. This is actually the mascot for our um, eBay page and our Twitter page and our YouTube page. You might see him in the main picture, him along with the, uh, what is that, what other car is that? That's the uh, Back to the Future car and uh, that Hot Wheels car, that Camaro Hot Wheels car in the background. I'll get to those later on. And this item off the back, it's not for sale, at least not now at the moment. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I'd like to show it to you because uh, I had a couple people ask me about them, so I thought I'd actually bring them to you. Well, first off to start, I'm going to let you know how big he is. Well, you can see my hand, but I'm going to do a quick measurement of him. And this, uh, he's about, he stands about, looks like about 13 and a half inches tall. And what's neat about him is the texture of his skin. If you look closely, it's like a... You can tell it's like foam inside, and his arms are like wiry, um, and it's very glossy, and it's kind of like real, like it's, it's sort of a real like texture. If you look at his eyes, the way they painted it, the way the uh, I'm not sure what you call this, but this type of uh, paint, but um, it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's a pretty detailed doll. Um, as you can look at the yellow finger, this is I remember I haven't seen the movie in a while, but I know when you when he touches, he says "Phone home." You know, his finger glows up and stuff like that. Um, he doesn't talk or anything. This particular one doesn't talk. He's very squishy, um, very soft, and very plushy. But his skin is kind of like a real texture, almost. Kind of. Uh, but it's pretty neat, though. And uh, people always ask me about this when they call my house. Like, where'd you get that from? Where'd you get that from? And it's, you know, I always tell them. It came from Universal Studios, actually, in Florida. Uh, it says that right here on his foot. It says trademark Universal Studios. And it says, uh, made in, uh, what is that, Circlanka, I cannot pronounce that. Um, help me out. <laughs> but uh, here's the back of them. Okay. Has a little tush right here. Has these little things sticking up out of his head. Again, it's very detailed doubt. It's very cool. People, you know, they always ask about him. He is uh, foldable. You can fold his arms. You can bend it that way. You can turn this one that way. You can it down that way. I wouldn't do too much of that because it does look like a vintage of wear and you'll start to tear. When I bought them, I just put them inside the case right away. I never actually did anything with them. But you can lift his hand up like this and have him stand like that. Like that. So, these legs don't move, again. And you can see every time I touch them, he's very plush like. Um, yeah, this is that E.T. Dow. Um, and no special name. His name's E.T. That's what we call him because that's what he is. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just want to give you a you know, finally do a video review of them. And again, this one's not for sale. This is mine. I'm going to be keeping them. If I ever do put them up for sale, I'll let you know. But uh, I don't plan on selling them anytime soon. We got this one. We went, to, we went on a trip to Universal Studios, and this is a souvenir I took home because I thought it was really cool. I got it out after riding the E.T. ride, actually. Um, so, very cool, cool um, doll, I guess. All right.